Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Dewar's Blended Scotch Whiskey Illegal Smooth Mezcal Cask Finish. According to the label, aged eight years, uh, double aged and finished in Mezcal Cask uh, for extra smoothness with notes of caramel herbal flavor and wisp of smoke alrighty neighbors going by cicadas in the air it is summertime in the heart of the empire and what do we have here but mezcal and scotch now did a brief look into what mezcal is apparently is from the agave plant apparently it produces a greater flavor profile than tequila so think tequila on steroids added to scotch someone would ask must like scotch must like tequila i do not like scotch Scotch to me tastes like cheap whiskey that has been filtered through grass clippings. Tequila. Tequila tastes like cheap vodka that's been filtered through a dirty sock. So why should I get Mezcal Cast Finish in a Scotch? I'm curious. And that is what took me over, is my curiosity. What we have here is a yellow hue in a caramel color. A lot more caramel from what I can tell on the image on your guys' side. A lot more yellow on mine. We do our swirl test. And it tears up almost immediately. And from all the way over here, which is a good two feet, two and a half foot to the top of the glass, I'm already catching whiffs of the Dewar's blended scotch whiskey with mezcal cast finish. Yes, I can read a bottle. So it does tear up quite evenly and easily. And the nose smells like there's a hit of tequila. It is the strangest thing. Just about every cocktail that I, that I have ever come across that has tequila in it, I can immediately smell the tequila. The only time I've ever had tequila that I enjoyed it is through much more higher dollar valued tequilas that has been pulled out of the freezer. Yeah, something about freezing it makes it better. And it makes me always wonder because if you make it cold, you lose a good 70% or more of the flavors that means you're taking 70% of the flavors out of the tequila why are you drinking it if you have to remove 70% of the flavor out to make it taste good I know there are tequila fans out there I know I'm rubbing you wrong I've got several I have friends who are tequila drinkers okay so I I understand but I'm just not one of a tequila drinker. But you get the caramel. The agave produces almost like a, a lemony caramel to the whole thing. Normally you get like a stone fruit or something, but there isn't. There's a vanilla undertone that seems to take off all the sharp edges around. But it still ends with that tequila back back in tequila flavor so we have to see what it's like and that is the part I like about it it's got a nice nose ignore the tequila part and the nose matches the palate
Summertime, bring out the motorcycles. There we go. Anyways, so the scotch comes at you first. The tequila hits you in the end. Both are there. Both you can definitely find it in the the, the whole gambit of the flavors that strike your palate. I said I'm not a Scotch fan, I'm not a tequila fan, but they are limited enough that it makes them tolerable. Because once you get past that Scotch barrier, you immediately get hit with these wonderful fruit flavors with vanilla and caramels, as well as like your fruit flavors, your oranges and your, your stone fruits. It actually is a, a beautiful middle to the whole thing. And then when that starts to fade out, you get your um, tequila, mezcal -y type finish at the very back. So if you appreciate scotch and tequila, you'll love that stuff. If you don't appreciate scotch and tequila, much like myself, then you just simply tolerate the first couple seconds and tolerate the last several seconds. Everything else in between, absolutely wonderful. Now I have tried this on ice and it did dampen down the scotch start to it and did damper down the tequila end. But of course the in-between also got muddy down a hair too. So it's how much you're willing to tolerate that scotch and tequila um, beginning and end depends on whether it's worth putting it on ice. Now putting this in a cocktail, let me add a whole new dimension to it. Uh, a lemon-lime cocktail or you know, something otherwise like fruity and neighbors. And that may actually enhance it quite well. But as it is, it's a nice sipper. It's got enough uh, strength to it that makes it good for, I would have to say, late spring, early fall. And it's light enough definitely to put up with the heat of the summertime. Such as with, like I said, neighbors wandering around and cicadas singing their songs. It is that time of year. So if you're, on, you're looking around for something totally different, this I think is a nice way to go. It's definitely, as they say, worth the cost of admission. Give it a try. See what you guys think. This is Dewar's Blended Scotch Whiskey Illegal Smooth. The, um, I'm sorry, Illegal Mezcal Cask Finish Blended Scotch Whiskey. Eight years of age. Uh, 750 ml bottle. Oh, what is the ABV? Forgot to give that. 40% alcohol by volume. Noisy neighbors coming up and down the street. And it's quick. There you go. Any comments about this particular product? Down below, be warmly accepted. As always, or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself, and see what you have to say. And let the rest of us in the spirits, YouTube spirits community. Great Jehoshaphat. of fats. And the YouTube series community you know your thoughts about this particular product. And with noisy neighbors and noisier cicadas aside, keep on drinking.